All right, guys, well, here we are. We have the net set up. We are literally in a cyclone right now. So hopefully you're gonna be able to hear me well. I do have the, uh, the audio microphone here. Um, so hopefully that's gonna go well. Basically what I'm doing now is I'm just connecting the R10 and let's get straight on there and hit some shots. We're gonna hit five with the TaylorMade Stealth and five with the Sim, then five with the Stealth and five with the Sim and go backwards and forwards that way. Um, and then let's see who comes out the winner. Alrighty guys, so here we go. We're gonna do 10 shots each, alternating by five shots. So five shots with the Stealth, five shots with the Sim. And we're gonna go basically hell for leather as quick as we can, seeing who's gonna be the most accurate and who's going to be the fastest. I'm in a cyclone, so I hope you can hear me. But I have full confidence in the spawny and net. Let's go. Five shots with the stealth. Bit pushy, but not a bad start. Got that one a touch high on the face. Swing speed is good, direction is good, so. What we kind of saw on course with the Stealth, which I really, really loved, was the forgiveness of it. So the forgiveness of the Stealth is something that's not necessarily talked about anymore. We always talk about swing speeds and ball speeds, but the forgiveness is there at those speeds, which is amazing. Mash was down a little. Again though, swing speed is good for the first five shots. Directionally, I didn't lose anything even though it wasn't a great swing. So, ball speed will probably come up to about 165 soon. One sixty, nice draw. That's a perfect, like if you're talking about a fairway finder shot, which is what we're trying to do here, is hit fairways as well as swing hard, then 270 down the middle, basically 268, you're not complaining about that, are you? That last shot with the stealth. On 12.3. Right, that one just a little, a little left, but we're still talking 266 in the fairway. Pretty, pretty decent opening set there by the Stealth, and I'd say the next set for both of them is going to be much quicker. But as we're kind of warming up, that's why we're doing alternate sets. It's just the fairest way to do it. Let's uh, go into the sim driver now. Felt oh, good. 111 though, it's definitely it's definitely a, uh, a touch slower in the club head speed, I think just with that extra weight of the club head. But let's not jump to conclusions. It's only the first swing, smash was good. So we're pretty well warmed up now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have four sections of the, of the five shots to make it fair so we can itemize them a bit better. Interesting, the smash factor on the sim seems to be a lot higher for me. I wonder if that's attributed to the weight. Last one with the sim. And then I go and do that. Well, that was not a great strike. To, to finish the first round for the sim. 
but we're still in the fairway. Drag that one left, that was me. Trying to swing out of my boots. You still got to put good swings on them, otherwise it doesn't matter what driver you got, if you don't put good swings on them, it ain't gonna go where you want it to go. That's not good. 114, ball speed 166. How I would describe the head weight and the difference is it feels easier to swing it faster. So you can swing it smoother and it goes faster. So we got two more with the Stealth Plus and the final five with the Sim. Drag that one a little. And that's a really good one to finish on for the Stealth Plus. So, 114 club head speed, 165 ball speed, 1.45 smash, 271 total. Um, One eleven point seven. Good ball speed, good smash, and great distance as well. One ten point seven. One eleven point eight. <clears throat> yeah, that was a good drive. Really good drive, that one. That is a really good drive to finish with the sim, 112.1, smash 1.44, ball speed. Okay, all right guys, so if I take a look at the numbers now, throw them up here on screen, I'll try and jump out of the way, I'm gonna be looking that way, but if I take a look at the numbers, let's just jump into the groupings first. So, look at that key down the side, the red stealth is the, the first one. The dispersions, I'll say, across the board are basically Oh, are they the same? No, they're not. Okay, this is quite surprising. So just looking at these, it looks like the Sim 1 is actually a little bit tighter in its dispersion just. So the Stealth Driver is the first red circle and the yellow circle. The Sim is the green one and the blue one. Um, congrats on my first thousand subscribers. Thank you for that. So I got a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Woohoo. And uh, it's been a lot of work actually, but so much thankfulness and gratitude towards you guys for watching my content and loving it. I really appreciate it. Continue to smash that subscribe button. Now, back to the numbers. Uh, if we go into the actual statistics of the numbers, let's see the first. This is a lot closer than I actually expected. So the first five shots with the Stealth, 111.9 was the total club head speed. With the Sim, 111.8, basically the same. Ball speed with the Stealth, on average was 160.1, the sim was actually better, 161.4. Carry distance was better with the stealth, 146.9, sim 145.8. Total distance, 265.6 with the stealth, 265.9 with the sim. And spin rates, 2909 with the stealth, 2810 with the sim. Now, they're a little bit high for me, to be honest with you. 
um, but they were the first 10 shots, which is why I did it this way and why I separated them from the second 10, which is here. So, average club head speed, 113 miles per hour. I hope this, I uh, wasn't talking into this microphone, but I hope I picked it up anyway. 113 miles per hour with the Stealth, 111.6 with the Sim. Now, just a reminder that these are trying to be as comparable to what I would swing on course as possible. I'm not here trying to break records with the swing speeds like I have been, um, but this is what I'm trying to do on course and where these numbers are going to sit. So, interestingly, an extra 2 mile per hour swing speed, basically 2 point, well 1.4 isn't it, uh, with the Stealth, and an extra 1.5 mile per hour ball speed, so 164. 162.5 with the sim and carry distance 246.3 the sim actually had a higher carry distance so so i'm running out of battery the sim had 253.6 on the carry distance total average distance 268.7 with the stealth 271.6 with the sim now i wonder if we had we had a short knocker in there with the stealth so let's let's try and delete that one and see how that affects the numbers it does a little bit but not much so they, they come a bit tighter only two meters total distance and difference smash factor was interesting 1.45 and 1.46 so they have basically the same launch angle with the stealth is 10.2 with the sim 12.3 and the spin rates on both is two point or 2708 with the stealth which is where i would want to be spin rate with the sim 2905 so i'm probably just adding a little bit of that spin there um, myself the spin loft is about the same as well 8.7 angle of attack 4.1 to 4 they're virtually the same except <laughs> and this is where it comes into play except when i took it on course if you haven't seen my on course review go back and take a look at it again this is why I love the sim numbers as much as anybody. If you've seen any of my videos, you'll know how much I absolutely love using the simulator. However, what matters is when you take the drivers on course, what you see on course, because that is in the end going to dictate whether you're going to hit it further or shorter. And definitely, if you haven't seen my video on the on course review of this, go back and check it out, um, because that'll be out by the time this video comes out. And it was significantly further like i hit drives to where i'd never hit them before i was hitting them through the fairways using the stealth plus i was hitting them 293 meters on par fives that i never got that far on before uh, 270 meters into the wind and i think when i'm looking at these numbers these numbers are definitely correct i'm not saying that they are wrong but the vertical launch angle there 10.2 versus 12.3 when we're playing in a windy conditions like we are here that actually plays a significant difference and when you've got a spin variation as well of 200 rpms you might think that's not much but if that if one of those shots you know there's one there at 2508 versus the average on the tailor-made sim of you know 292829 there's only one that's really high in the sim and if if uh, sorry in the stealth and if i deleted that shot it takes my average spin to 26 and that's going to affect the total average distances as well um, which actually just dropped down which is strange but on course it will be further so take this with a grain of salt when we're looking into the numbers and make sure that if you get a chance take the drivers on course and check them out there because that is where you're going to see the biggest difference now if i was to pick a winner it's actually really, really hard. It, it, it is really hard, other than I've taken it on course. If I hadn't taken the driver on course, and if I had done this test just purely in a simulator, I would have probably just stuck with my own sim and said it's good enough. And it really is good enough. It is a fantastic driver. I like the, the, the weight of the Stealth Plus, where it's a bit lighter in the head. I know that I can get a faster swing speed. And also, interestingly, I could increase the smash factor as I use the driver. So as I get used to the driver, it's going to go even further and I'm going to get a greater performance out of it. Keep in mind that I've had this sim for quite a while and I'm very much used to that head. So I would call this, in this round, if it was a, a round of three rounds, I'd call it a dead heat. But on course, the Stealth Plus definitely takes it. And you know, if, you, if you're in the market for a new driver, the Stealth Plus is definitely one that I would look at. 
make sure that you head down into Drum and Golf and Bigger Waters if you're in the southeast Queensland area. Um, have a chat with Jason, the guys. They were so kind to lend me this um, so that I could test it and review it for you guys, and it hasn't let me down. It has been an incredible driver, and I'm super impressed with it. So why don't you go check it out? Anyway, guys, that's enough from me. I hope you like the review, and I'll chat to you next time on the next review, which is going to be coming real soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.